it is my Scooby-Doo Addiction, back with another Scooby-Doo movie review. This would make it two in one a week, and I am on fire. Yes! Because I mostly forgot to do these while my DVD player was out of commission. But, today we are obviously reviewing Scooby-Doo Music of the Vampire, which is one of my favorite movies, not my all-time favorite, you saw that one yesterday, but still, I love a good musical. Oh yes, this is a musical. As always, I'm giving you 10 seconds to get out of here before I spoil it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Still here? Okay, let's get rolling. Okay, so this movie came out in I think about 2012, but I didn't get it till 2014. Mostly because at that time, believe it or not, I wasn't big into Scooby Doo. I know, brief moment of shocking silence. I was more into American Girl dolls. I still am. Well, I'm into both of them. Anyway. Let me read the description, and then I'll give my actual review. Ahem. Grab some garlic, sharpen some steaks, for an all-new Scooby-Doo musical mystery. Scooby-Doo, Shaggy, and the gang are geared up for a relaxing vacation. Just make it anywhere with no ghosts or monsters. But, like, how, how very Velma to steer the mystery machine to Vampire Palooza. It's not much of a scene until a singing vampire theater troupe headed by pasty heartthrob Graham meddles with an ancient resurrection chain, bringing the powerful vampire Lord Valdronia back to life. Now the festival's hopping, the stakes are flying, and the gang is in danger. Shaggy is sure he's been bitten. Scooby-Doo, save yourself, and Lord Valdronia wants Daphne for his bride. In this all-new movie, the creature of the night aren't the only ones vamping up. The whole gang is ready to sing and dance their way out of this one. See? But come on! When do they ever get a regular vacation? Probably the next review I'll do will be on this movie, where Daphne actually says for once I would like a normal vacation. So, as I said, I really, really enjoy this movie. I love any sort of musical, because I'm a little on high school musical Teen Beach Movie Descendants fan, but that was already implied. Um, I, I love this movie, and then it's kind of got that classic animation look to it. Like the classic Scooby-Doo just digitized on a computer. And... Obviously, here's the cover art for it. And there are lots of songs. Lots and lots of songs. There's like the first one in the movies in the opening sequence because a character named Tuli tells the story or to the audience or whoever he in his crazed mind sees. He's a little Um and so the first, the second song in the movie is my personal favorite, Done With Monsters, where they're singing about having a relaxing vacation. Oh, come on! You can't go five miles for a relaxing vacation. You're the Scooby-Doo gang. Oh, but it's fun. And then they get to the town where the Vampire Palooza thing is, and that's where it really takes off. Because the back explicitly tells you that a theater troupe is to blame, which they are. They agree to help a friend of theirs, Mr. Van Helsing, solve the mystery. And there's lots of singing. Like, there's Done With Monsters. Um, uh, Vampire's Dance, I think it's called. The theater troupe sung that one. The Vampire something about vampires by the fair owners sang that one and then Scooby and me do you want to live forever and then done with monsters 
replays if I'm not missing anyone or missing anything. But lots of musical numbers, lots of singing, lots of dancing. If you're not a fan of musical numbers, I wouldn't recommend getting this one because it will drive you nuts. Okay, but honestly, this is like the first and only scuba musical ever. So it gives it a big A plus in my book. So cover art again. See Velma and Fred trying to warn them. And there's Daphne and Graham. It's Shaggy and Scooby are on stage. And you can see Valdronia peeking out from the curtain. I guess they didn't use Dracula since I've kind of overused him. There's Valdronia the bat. And there's Shaggy and Scooby holding a no vampire sign while running away. And. Then you've got Scooby-Doo singing on the disc. He's clear and the disc is red. There's tape on my disc because the plastic ring thingy, like, you know, in the middle of the disc, like, split, but it didn't harm the movie. I just put tape on it to kind of... I dropped it. Hang on. I'm back. To try to get not to make a weird noise, which totally felt but I'm not about to try to peel the tape off the disc. But I give this movie a big must-see. Like, you have to watch it. It's the only Scooby Scooby-Doo musical people. It is so worth it. I got it at Hastings. I don't remember how much I got it for, but it was actually kind of a birthday present. So that's my initial review of this movie. If you liked what you saw, you can comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time. My Scooby-Doo Addiction, out.